couple things. So when you guys are in out, and this this is from a just from a defense perspective, if you're gonna want to do the opposite of everything I'm saying here, if you're the person that's on bottom, because my job on on top is I want to separate your elbows uh, from from your body so that I can start climbing my knees up, but then I can start making my way to S mount uh, from here. Okay, so but this all S mount only happens by your elbows leaving your body. So if you're on a defense, you don't want your elbows to leave your body. So if I'm on top and I'm on offense, I can bait them into this position, letting me get their elbows away from their body. And one of, the, one of the easy ways to do that is if I go and I cross my ankles and I start driving my hips in, his arms are gonna be in one of two, well, I'll say one of three places. They're either gonna be where they're at, uh, wait, wait. they're either gonna be here, just to try him trying to keep his elbows in tight, and we'll go over this position in just a second, or um, to take some of the pressure off and to try to, especially uh, try to undo my, my ankles, because I feel like your feet. So my ankles are pretty high right now, so a very common thing is I'll start pushing on my knees to start moving my ankles down so that they can start undoing my, my ankles from here. And this is the position I'm looking for, is for them to push on my knees like this. Because when they push, I can underhook their arm and underhook this arm and start walking their, their arms together like this. And then I can come sliding into S-mount. S-mount, for those of you that don't know, I'm sliding my knee up, I'm gonna cup this arm, and I'm tucking this under his under his shoulder, just like this. So this is, it's a kind of a miserable position for the person that's on that's on bottom. So um, when I'm when I'm in this position, if you note like his hand position, this is ideally where I want his hands. I want this one to be underneath this arm. Okay, if his arms are reversed, which which can happen, um, it's easy to un, just to, to fix his arms so how they are. And people seem to not like register that oh they're putting my arms in position for a reason. Okay, but but when we're in when we're in S mount, this is a couple things um, here. Is I want this knee nice and tight uh, to his head on this shoulder, and then this one is going to be underneath this shoulder, just like this, and it's just pinching underneath his shoulder. One of his outs from from this position, and the mistake that happens from uh, this S mount position, I'm trying to take some pressure off you here. I'm talking. Thank you. Um, is is this foot? Because if, if this foot starts to come out like this, and I see this a lot when people do S mount their, their legs like this. If his elbow goes down like this, he can start lifting this up and getting his leg inside and I'm gonna lose this position. Okay, so S mount goes sideways for me when I don't have this leg tight enough underneath his shoulder, just like this, okay? Uh, for like where my body's positioned, I have my weight off him so I can so I, he doesn't have to suffer from this position, but when you're in S mount, the reason why it's so miserable is when this is all tucked in, like my weight is on top of him from, from here. And so it's very hard for him to bridge, it's very hard for him to do a whole lot from here. So hand position wise, let's rotate. This is right. So hand position wise, when I'm in this position, this hand is gonna be blocking his hip, just like this. Because if his hand is not here and he starts scooting his hips out, I have to keep following him in S mount, like this, which kind of sucks. So, I want to just block his hip just like this. Okay, so now go ahead and try to move your hips. It's not, not so easy. I don't care if it goes the other direction, that's not gonna do anything. Okay, it's, it's this, this is his out, is that direction. Okay, so the first option to go over is here, I cross my ankles, drive my hips in, and then I see what his hands do. If I can feel them on my, on my ankles, up here, I'm gonna dig my arms underneath, and then rainbow walk my hands up, Climb my knees. This one comes up here by his head. This one is scooping his elbow to get his shoulder off the ground. And then sit just like this. Does that make sense? And his arm position, so his arms um, are in the, I want his arms like this. Okay, and I'll show you why. We'll go over and attack here why I want his arms in this position. Okay? So there's two other options that you have here. This one is, uh, with, it, with him pushing. The other option is if his arms are just like this, because um, with his elbows like this, I can always still get catch a little bit of his elbow and do the same thing on both sides. And I'm gonna slide up and go into S-mount again. Um, the other option is, um, if I'm in mount, will you hug me? So if he's, if he's gonna hug me, whether his arms are like this or his arms are like this, it doesn't make any, any difference. Uh, the, the S mount is the, is the same. He's already has it, or I already have it. Because all I have to do from here is slide my knees up, and then I'm getting into S mount anyways. And then if you go ahead and try to keep it. So if he keeps this, I can just break this grip here. And now when I'm here, oops, sorry. 
I'm trying to get in the same same position. So I'm still just going to kind of fit myself in this position. If um, if this arm is still back here and I'm in this position, I can just drive my hips and pop his arm forward, and then I can get his his arms into this S mount. And you might have to readjust his foot, which is fine. Just lift his shoulder up and kick, re, re, uh, kind of kick your heel inside. Does that make sense? Any questions? You can sit here for a long time. Yeah.